all doing? Good. Good. Very nice to see you all out here today. Thank you. You know, my father, Norman Mailer, was one of three people that started this paper. And it's very hard for me to be up here today because I've always loved the village voice. I've always loved what it represents. And it was intended to be a people's paper. And so to see where it's come, where the paper that was there told people to abuse power and how to with an independent, incredible voice, to see them now justify their actions to this prophet heartbreak. I was asked today to read a statement from one of the survivors of this, who unfortunately is not safe to stand up here in person because of the backlash that she could get and because of the pimps that are after her still. So I just want to read her words to you. Thank you all so much for attending this important event. I know firsthand what happens to young girls who are posted on Backpage.com because I was sold by pips for over two years on the site. At 16, I met my first pimp. He told me that I was pretty and he wanted me to be his girlfriend. I was just a kid and I believed him. But soon he was selling me for sex every day and I was being raped 365 days a year. Then he sold me to other pimps, tossed back and forth between them like I was their property. They abused me, beat me, and treated me worse than an animal. Unfortunately, my story is not unique. Thousands of girls like me exist. Many have not been found. I am fortunate to have escaped. After two years, I worked up the courage and ran. Now I'm a student looking forward to what is to come in my life. It's still hard for me to believe that Backpage.com exists, that there is this vast marketplace where pimps can sell terrified, unwilling girls like me for sex, and men can buy them day after day. Backpage has a chance to step in and help put an end to the sex trafficking of minors occurring through the use of its site by shutting down the adult section. The young girls who are advertised on the site can have a chance at a better life if their pimps could no longer sell them online 24 hours a day. I hope they'll get that chance. So to the owners of the Village Voice Media, you hold the legacy of this paper in your hands. Please, do the right thing. Take it down. Woo!